Coach, great to see you. Uh, how are you doing so I'm far? Doing well, thank you. Yeah. Always good to be down here. Yeah, absolutely. We can't really uh, get away from the heat, though. You guys have had a nice summer up there. We have had a great summer. <laughs> the way life should be up there. Yeah. yeah. Normally, it's only a couple of months, but I mean, maybe it's extended <laughs> a little bit for you guys. Well, huh? I, I, vacation land USA. I it love says it. it when you enter the state. So yeah. it, it's it's. Uh, I've always said from. Uh, from May 1st to maybe October 30th, okay. the place you want to be. <laughs> After that, there's some there's some questions about the climate. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting up there. Uh, you know, and uh, when I do Delaware Radio, we got there to play you guys this year in October, yeah. and uh, it's always fun to go out and get a nice little lobster dinner. You know, so we're we're fired up about that. We you talk about that. that all year long. We do. <laughs> Good for you. So, uh, but hey, thanks again for being here. Uh, 19th year coming up for you now yeah. uh, at Maine. Talk about what you've been able to do, where you see this program headed, and kind of the overall. Uh, aspect of everything. Well, we're, we're, we're kind of at a critical juncture, as I think people know. It's, uh, make no mistake about the fact that the teams up in the Northeast are kind of going in different directions, and uh, the former Yankee Conference, the Atlantic 10, and now the CAA, it's, it's, its center has kind of moved south. And, right. you know, I, I jokingly said to Sean, and looking up, it's, it's you and us, uh, us in New Hampshire, and we, we can't play for the Musket 12, right. 12 weeks a year. <laughs> Uh, but this is a, this is an important year, a critical year for for what's next for Maine football, Northeast New England football, and uh, you know we we, uh, we take a lot of pride in our product. Uh, there's a lot we can do, you know, uh, be successful in the classroom, on, on the field, and in our presentation of who we are as a program. Uh, continue to keep the alumni, the letter winners, the the, uh, the importance of football continually has to be modeled so that you know we have an opportunity to continue and stay in this league. This is a great, great conference, and I've often said probably the conference has done more for us than we for the conference, simply because it's it's made us compete at a higher level and found out we found out a lot about ourselves as coaches, as young men, in that competitive nature um, that exists in the classroom and on the field and in all parts of our life. And uh, hopefully, you know, when this all settles down, Maine football, New Hampshire football, and some Northeast teams are going to add on to this great conference, and we're going to continue to, to kind of put that footprint out along the whole eastern seaboard. You know, kind of like a Pac-10 East or something yeah. at, a, at a smaller level. And um, but we got to do our, we got some work to do this this fall in, in regards to that. And, and hopefully we'll get it done. Well, no, I mean, and that's what the CAA is all about. I mean, when you look at, like, in basketball, I mean, it does. It stretches from Boston all the way down to Atlanta and yeah. Georgia State entering the league yeah. uh, in 2012. So it's going to do that again. And I think everybody really does enjoy going up there. And you guys have competed at this high level. Last year, maybe not the year that you wanted at 4-7. and seven, But, I mean, you got 18 guys coming back on starters on yeah. offense and defense. I'm a little surprised. I'm sure, you know, you are. I mean, we were talking right before you came on about being ranked ninth. In the, in the preseason rankings. I mean, what do you say about that? Well, how do you get ranked high in a great conference like this anyways when you haven't had the resume in the last year or two? That's just the way it is. You know, it, it's about what you've done. And we, uh, our performance last year was not the type of performance that's going to allow you to be successful in this league. I mean, you, we did things, uh, turned the ball over, penalties, uh, you know, just lack discipline in key situations to be able to win this league. Had games won that we lost and, and, and other games we didn't respond to because of those items. So, you know, we, uh, we you are what you are. That's just the way it is. And uh, uh, we are excited about what's in front of us with the young men that you just mentioned, 18 guys that played a lot of football for us last year, some rising seniors and rising juniors that we think have some talent and the ability to help us win in this league. Last thing, a couple of the knowns offensively, uh, you know, in your running back positions, Derek Session, Bashan Brown, uh, and quarterback Warren Smith, who's had some time in there. Is that kind of position up in the air? Where do you go from that? We're still defining the quarterback. I mean, okay. it's, it's really been uh, that position that's really presented us the most problem, so to speak, just simply because this league requires a, an incredible level of productivity there. And, and if you're not getting that, uh, you're going to have a chance or not going to have a chance to win football games. I like I like what's around Warren and Chris Treister, whoever turns out to be the quarterback for us. Pushon Brown's a talented running back and, and is as good a running back as there is in this conference. In, in session, in Buttles, we've got some experienced right. guys who've caught a lot of footballs for us and played a lot of football. we got to lean on them. We've got four starters back in the offensive line, something that's pretty... Uh, a good feel to that because that sets the standard for can you run it and can you pass it and certainly the, the, the number one thing we have to do is secure the football, protect the ball, keep it in our hands and if we have to punt and go play defense that's better than turning it over on a short field and, and giving up points. All right well I uh, enjoy the rest of the summer up there I know it's pretty much over as you get ready for camp and stuff but uh, best of luck this season all right we'll see you down the road soon. Appreciate it very much. Coach thank you. Thank you. Jack Cosgrove head coach of the University of Maine.